Ciao a tutti, my name is Stefano and here I am back with another 5 minutes duct table editing challenge. Can I take a photo of a misty forest like this and edit it in exactly 5 minutes to this level? I don't know, we shall see. The interesting part of this video, I'm gonna use a module but just to add mist instead of take it out. Interesting, isn't it? But let's get straight into the interface. And also in these five minutes, I'm gonna use the OSC editing workflow. Again, overall first, and then we move attention to the subject and finally to the colors. But let's get into this photo. I know, I know, most of you are in the Northern Hemisphere, which is beautiful right now, sunny and warm. But I tell you, in the Southern Hemisphere, and especially in Melbourne, it's getting cold. And if you go to the mountains, you find the snow. Now, let's get into this mist the forest. Uh, what I wanted to have in this photo is actually more mist, you know, to create more of a um, dreamy photo. And to do that, the first change I'm gonna do to this photo is to actually use the haze removal module, but not actually to remove the haze, but to add the haze. Because if you go on the left of the strength, you see how you actually add more haze into your photo. But what I want is to add the A's only in the brightest part of the photo, but not on the trees. I want to keep the trees actually without the haze. That's easy to do because if we go into the parametric mask, we can easily isolate this part. So let's see the mask here. We go into luminescence and as soon as you move down, you see that in this way you apply the haze only on the brightest part of the photo, but not on the trees. I don't really want to apply also the haze over the skier so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna brush it out from the skier and then I'm gonna create also a sort of leading line going into the skier where I keep all of the skiing track because otherwise with a haze you would cover that. So let me adjust a tiny bit here. That's pretty much it. Obviously I have to toggle the selection here here and let's toggle that and we see without the mask and we can see a before and after before is all pretty much defined and after we create more of a dream let's uh, take down a tiny bit of the opacity yeah uh, that should be fine. I like it this way. You can still see the uh, skin track here as a leading line. The next module I want to use is the exposure module to bright up a little bit this photo. So I go into the exposure and I'm gonna bright up just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna do that because uh, when I move to the second part of my editing, which is about the subject, I'm gonna use the vignetting in order to dark the left and the right part of this photo because you can see that your attention is going yes to a skier but also is going to the side because there are many hand points in this photo isn't it so what we do we just use the vignetting module and when I use the vignetting module, I like to go into the small view so I can adapt to an oval and making even a little bit bigger maybe taking it down here like that now let's go back to the fit to screen view. Let's see how it is with and without. You see the big difference where really your eyes are drawn into the skier. And now that we're finished with vignetting, I want to give a little bit more of a light here at the end where the skier is. And to do that, uh, I'm gonna use uh, one of my dodging presets. So I'm gonna create a new instance and I'm gonna call this instance uh, uh, dodge. So I know what the second instance of exposure is. And then I'm gonna use my dodge plus 07. I'm gonna use the circle here to give more of a let's do with a control click so I can keep the circle for as long as I want and I'm gonna apply it here probably so we can see a before 
and after before and after you see where we've aligned to create also a little bit of a mist effect into the skier perfect that's all i need really to do with a dodge the next thing that i want to do is to fix the color which is the third part of my editing workflow now i can give a little bit of a better color i think into these trees you know it's nice actually this reddish that comes out from the trunks and to do that i'm gonna use a module which is the velvia and and I'm gonna increase the strength of the Velvia a little bit you see then when you do that you're gonna also show the greenery here part and let's say before and after before and after you can think also to do that only to this part here the central part and if you want to do that you just go with um, a draw mask and I'm gonna go with just do a couple of um, here and there so you see a before and after before and after and that's pretty much it about this photo there's another thing I want to do in this photo which is uh, taking out actually the colors uh, desaturate it completely and see what's happening to the photo if it's more interesting or less interesting but before doing that I'm gonna take a snapshot here so we can actually check a before and after so we started from here orientation and let's see before and after you see how the tension was going a little bit everywhere and now it's definitely going to the skier and there is more mist now let's go back to the velvia we deactivate the velvia module and we instead going on the contrast brightness and saturation module we activate this one and we take down the saturation i love to take down the saturation when uh, you have a little bit of a mist into your photo yeah that's it let's see how it is now before and after this is with the colors and this is without colors it's really a personal choice uh, myself i probably like it more without colors but again it's down to a single person choice and that's pretty much it also about this video on five minutes editing i think this time i made it within the five minutes i see you in the next video about editing in dark table see you bye